You're still watching Ways Now. Children's Day is a commemorative date celebrated annually in honor of children whose date uh, of observance varies from, uh, by country rather. In 1925, International Children's Day was first proclaimed in Geneva during the World Conference on Child Welfare. Since 1950, it is celebrated on June 1st in most communist and post-communist country. World Children's Day is celebrated on 20th of November to commemorate the Declaration of Rights of the Child by the UN General Assembly on the 20th of November 1959. Now in some countries it is Children's Week uh, and some countries it's not um, Children's Day but today in some parts of the world it's Children's yeah. Day. Children were on holiday, they didn't go to school. You know, I miss all of that because <laughs> my children are, they're yeah. not, once they go to school, <laughs> till they come back on the holiday, I don't have any. Yeah. So it, it's so hard to relate what, it, what the current trends are for children now because I have no child around me right even when they come around they are more like you know on their own i don't know how adults. you do it or I, don't, I don't think i can leave apart from my children right now really no, I don't think trust so. me yeah. <laughs> trust yeah. me so i i don't i i i i you know maybe with the conversation we're having today it, it just gives me some level of comfort that to some extent right mm -hmm. i've done well as a mother Mm, right i've done well as good. a mother because uh, everything that was needed to invest in the life of my children was yep. done before the age of 10. Mm. and that is technically the growth age i think they even yeah. say it's eight when the child is eight the yeah. child is already formed so it takes the grace of god for anything to be upturned at that After, point yeah. so i as a mother i did a lot of sacrifice you know i didn't go to work i didn't do all of those things because i wanted to be involved in raising wow. my children so when i see them going out now i actually i'm comfortable because like saying, look at, yeah look at my yes because they're, they're so <laughs> i'm not hearing bad reports they're not coming back with a lot of yeah. you know so it means that yes to some extent i need to pat myself in the back that you know if i do I'd, say so if i myself, do say so myself congratulations i try <laughs> congratulations <laughs> all right so what did you find for us in the news money okay lagos teacher flocks pupil over homework victim vomits and dies a junior secondary school to pupil of simple faith schools agbara lagos state emmanuel amidu has died at the lagos university teaching hospital through Leary. the victim's father akinola amidu claimed that the 12 year old was flogged by a teacher when he went to school on Thursday, May 12th, 2022. He said that his son started vomiting shortly after beating and was rushed to a hospital where he gave up the ghost. Mm -hmm. The distraught father alleged that the school management was covering up his son's death and protecting the mathematics teacher, one Mr. Steven, who allegedly flogged Emmanuel for not completing his assignment. Mm -hmm. He said... I was at home that Thursday because I was on leave. I recall that Imano asked me for money to buy a new exercise book and I gave him 500 naira to buy the book and gave the remaining change to his sisters. Later that day, I was called by the management of the school that Emmanuel was vomiting. Meanwhile, this was a boy who left home without any health issues. I had to go to the hospital and we moved him, I had to go to the school and we moved him immediately to a hospital. I later learned that the whole thing started after their class teacher, Mr. Steven, beat the whole of his class for not completing their mathematics assignments. Emmanuel was actually using my phone touchlight to do his assignment a day before, but I had to collect the phone from him and his sister because I needed to be in constant contact with my office. Mm. It was a loot that I lost my son. Meanwhile, the management of the school quickly ran to the Magodo Marobo police station Mar at Agbara. Okay. Okay. Mar police station at Agbara to report that my son died from vomiting. So um, Akinola 45 demanded the arrest and prosecution of the teacher and he urged the state government and the police to give the family justice. Hmm. So um, for me, I, I don't think that these teachers have any right to be flogging students in hmm. school. You know, you don't, you don't do your homework, it's okay. Why do you need to be the child? Punish, there are different ways you can punish children. Why do you need to flog somebody's child until he dies? Mm. I just think it's crazy. It's unacceptable. Mm. 
you understand and again especially because if you if you if you look at the story it says that they flogged the entire class right mm -hmm. so for one child to die and the other child uh, the other children rather in the class they, they seem fine it meant that okay maybe but you see mm -hmm. that's why they say you do not you know how they say don't pick a fight on the street because you do not you know, know who is a walking cop who is yeah. healthy who is not fit you know for that you know it might just be a small part mm -hmm. on the on the chest and, and the, the, child the person loses his life yes yeah. the person loses their lives so that's why you do not you, you can't ascertain the health status per child you don't even know if that child maybe had not eaten or had had maybe diarrhea exactly. you don't know anything don't about know the what children. was going on the, with the child yes health wise but what we know is that the child started vomiting, vomiting. so if you say vomiting you know is there a case maybe maybe he probably had food poisoning a day before or he had diarrhea or something do you understand so you as a teacher you must find creative ways to met out discipline you know, when it comes to children, you don't, you know, so you don't have to use... you kill a child because the child did not do, do his homework, assignment. right? Like, it doesn't make on. any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I don't sense. know what's going on. It doesn't make school. any sense. Crazy. It doesn't make any sense. We'll talk more on that when, when we start the conversation. Mine is just like a feel-good story. I just felt like, you know, as we are women... A female lawmaker <laughs> flaws Tinumbu's ally. Why did they have to put Tinumbu's ally there? <laughs> to show that the person was supposed to be powerful, yeah, right? Flaws Tinumbu's ally, Ribadu, and she wins the Adamawa APC government ticket. You know, so um, I'm excited about her. A staunch ally of um, Governor Bola Tinumbu, Nuhu Ribadu, has lost the um, All Progressive Congress uh, governorship. Everybody knows Nuhu Ribadu now. Why can't you just say former, whatever? What was he again? Was he, um, what was his position? I can't remember. Well, Adamawa, so her name is Aisha Banani, right? So she would be, this is great news. I very, love the fact that news. she's a woman that has, you know, floored this man and she's gotten the ticket for the APC governorship in Adama. So you remember, wow. it was this same, was it Adama? No, it wasn't Adama. That woman, uh, the light-skinned woman that eventually lost her life, God rest her soul. Um, that was running for governorship in um, it wasn't under I can't remember the state now, but there was a female candidate as well. Mm. You know, so I'm happy that a lot of women are getting to Coming that. Out yes. now, yeah. yeah, and it seems need, to be a progressive state. Yeah. So hopefully, let's see what will happen with um, whether she eventually wins the ticket. Mm. Okay, so we are going to go on a break now. Yeah, even though I had one interesting story, I thought it was a good news. I heard that um, uh, Ondo State, Abi Ogun State rather, accounts for 3.2. I need to get an economist to teach us this thing to understand how is it possible. 3.1? 3.2 trillion of Nigeria's 3.7 trillion production output. Wow. I'm telling you. You know, because the, it's, it this shows that the manufacturers are of producing? Nigeria. Dif I think different manufacturing and all of that produce mm. goods and all of that. So most of the things that are happening are happening in Ogun State. Omo. That is a state to look out for. It means that they're in money. Yeah. All right. So. That's a good one. Yeah. Well, because really, a lot of people that live in Lagos have their businesses in Ogun State, especially when you're going into manufacturing or farming and all of that. Yeah. Because Most of the businesses cheaper yes, labor, cheaper, cheaper land. everything, cheaper lands. Yeah. And you know, Lagos doesn't even have land, so it's not even issue of cheaper. Mm. Lagos don't really have lands yeah. for those kinds of things. So you see all those industries and all of that. Most of them actually have. So it makes sense. All the mm -hmm. beauty, uh, beauty companies, you know, the Nestle companies, most of them, they are all Have, situated yeah, yeah. in Ogun State. So it makes absolute sense. But out of Nigeria, 3.2. So what is happening to the other states? They should just shut it down. It means that some states do not deserve to exist. That's the point I keep saying that about yeah, this. I, you know? I, I think the way we should look at it, it means that they're doing something right. So the other states should just go there and mirror exactly what they're doing. We're not asking mirror them to come how? up with any new There's invention. A, before before I would there. take my industry to your state, there yeah. has to be security. There has to be a lot of things. Yes, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. So just go there, study them and see what it is that they have that is working for them. Okay. So that you can just do that, it. No, let's take a break. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to be discussing raising emotionally balanced children. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you.